Welcome to this overview series of Esper's new features. Today, let's talk about pipelines and walk through an example of how our hypothetical coffee shop chain, Andy's Coffee, is using Esper pipelines for defining stages with selected targets and operations and deploying their app updates to their development, staging, and production groups. Now imagine as Andy's Coffee, we used to have a uniform menu across our shops. This month, we're trying out two new items at the West Coast and one new item at the East Coast cafes. To reflect these changes, our software developers worked hard and updated all of our applications. For instance, now we have an updated self-service kiosk menu in the West Coast and a different one in the East Coast. Our developers updated other applications, such as our point of sales app. So operations team need to not only handle rollouts at a geographic location level, but also need to handle which versions of which apps should be deployed at the self-service tablets versus what should be rolled out to the line busting tablets. In the ideal scenario, after the developers test the app updates in the development devices, they promote these changes to the staging devices. Here, staging can include the QA environment as well as a couple pilot shops. Once these changes are approved after the staging, then the ops team rolls out the changes into production and distributes it to all end users. In reality, doing this at a large scale is not easy. This would be a case where the legacy solutions fail to provide a seamless operation. So this is a great opportunity to integrate DevOps practices to ensure no devices are left out of compliance because of this rollout. This is where Esper pipelines come into the picture. Esper pipelines provide an effective way to control complex and large processes by means of deployment staging and operation automation. In the case of Andy's Coffee, we can create two pipelines, one for West Coast, and another one for East Coast, where we define pipeline stages for each of our development, staging, and production devices. After we define the stages, we select a set of specific operations and specific device targets and groups for each of these operations at each of these stages. Now, let's go ahead and streamline this Andy's Coffee app rollout with Esper Pipelines. When you log into the Esper console, you'll land on the dashboard. From here, navigate to the pipeline section through the left side panel. Because we don't have any pipelines yet, we're greeted with these create your first pipeline message. Now I'll go ahead and click create pipeline at the top. After clicking create pipeline, you'll see that the first pipeline stage is populated in the canvas for you. The next thing to do is editing pipeline properties. Esper gives a unique pipeline name and description, but it's still a good idea to customize it. So let's go ahead and update it with West Coast release. After customizing the pipeline properties, I want to customize the details of the stage properties. I will click edit stage properties and name my first stage test lab. This stage will represent my development environment. So the description of this stage is app rollout to all dev devices. When I'm done, I'll click update. Before defining any of the operations and targets for this stage, I choose to design all my stages. So let's create the second stage, staging phase where we will roll out the apps to our QA devices as well as a pilot store. Store 207 in California, San Francisco. Click Add and move on to the definition of the third stage. This will represent our production devices in the West Coast. So the description of this stage is app rollout to all West Coast production devices. When done, I'll click Add. There we go. Now we have all the stages in our pipeline canvas. Go back to the first stage and click Operations. Operations define the set of actions to be performed at a stage. In this case, it is the application updates. So here, I will choose the menu app with this West Coast specific version, as well as my point of sales app with the right West Coast version. After choosing an app and its version, don't forget to click Add. 
The next step is defining our stage targets. Targets can either be a list of devices or a set of groups. Let's try the devices route. You can filter devices by identifiers such as their device status or the groups that they belong to. So let's find which devices are in our West Coast test lab. Here, after finding your group, click apply. After filtering out my devices, I will select whichever ones I would like to target with my action. Let's fast forward this stage to operation selection. At this stage, I will define my targets at a group level. My QA devices are onboarded to the ND's headquarters group, so I'll find the West Coast QA subgroup and attach that to my stage too. One extra target I want to choose here is my store 207. This will be my pilot study where we will deploy the app in the wild and see how things go. So after navigating to store 207, I'll click it. Here are our two operations and two targets. In my third stage, I will target all the West Coast groups. I'll accomplish this by navigating the targets, selecting groups, and utilizing the search functionality to subset my groups. After finding my West Coast groups, I'll select them all. Here's a summary view of my targets, the group names, as well as the device counts. There we go. We defined our pipeline stages, operations, and targets. We are ready to execute this flow by clicking Run Pipeline. After starting a pipeline run, we see that the status of the first stage changes to processing and the second and third stage statuses change to pending. Now let's go ahead and click Run 1. Here we can see the summary of which commands have been dispatched to which device. Run is an instance of pipeline in execution, so we can kick off multiple instances of the same pipeline. Having said that, only one pipeline can be initiated at a given time. If I need to adjust my stage definitions, I can cancel a stage run, which we can observe by the change stage status, or I can cancel the entire pipeline run from the top here. After canceling my first run, I'll configure my second one now. By default, it will be defined by the last run's targets, operations, and stages. So I'll just go ahead and hit Run Pipeline. Esper will let us know that the pipeline run is created successfully. This was our West Coast release pipeline. As this one is running, I will navigate back to the pipeline section. Here, as I have more and more pipeline runs, I can create a holistic view by filtering all of those runs by their statuses. Now let's go ahead and create our second pipeline for the East Coast release. I will follow the same steps that I did for the West Coast creation. Edit pipeline properties, create stages, and edit stage details as well. What will be different is the app versions that I will be deploying to the East Coast shops. Here, I will be making sure that I'm using the correct application version and I'm defining my targets properly. After defining my stages, I'll go ahead and run this pipeline as well. Navigating back to the run that I just executed, I can see that my comments have been deployed and dispatched to the devices. Going back to the pipeline section, here I can see a summary of which runs are processing and which ones are canceled. Let's check on the status of our West Coast release pipeline. Next to the cancel run button, you can click status renewal and then see the changes. After the stage run has accomplished deploying the specified operations to the selected targets for that particular stage, the stage status will change to success and will turn green. At this point, the pipeline status will change to evading promotion, requiring me to promote the pipeline to the next stage. Renewing our status, we see that our second stage also successfully accomplished to deploy the app rollout to the selected targets. Now I promote it to the last stage, and upon waiting and renewing my status, 
I can see when everything is successfully deployed to the production devices. Thank you for watching our video. Make sure to check esper.io for more information.